So today we shall be starting, starting ratio, chapter eleven, page ninety-five to hundred eight. Previously we had done exercise eleven a, eleven a, and now we shall concentrate entirely on exercise eleven b. Eleven b we have few sums, so please stay tuned for I when I start the class. So hello everybody. Where we were? We were in exercise 11a. We completed it, and now we are in 11b. And what are we dealing with? We are dealing with a ratio. A ratio. What did we learn? We had learned that whenever we find a ratio, there sh should be of the same kind, same kind, and there should be. They of the same unit, same unit. Well, we learned this. Now, let us come to few sums of exercise eleven B. You know what are the saying? Please open your book. Okay, page hundred and two. Please open your book, page hundred and two, and then sit with this particular video. Otherwise, I cannot keep on writing the questions. I am not threatening you. I am just telling you. Okay, so chill. The monthly salary of a person is rupees one twelve thousand. So salary, salary of a person is how much? Salary of a person is rupees rupees one two zero 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 twelve thousand. And what about his expenses? When he you will uh, earn naturally, you will spend also. That is called your expenses. Expenses. And how much does he spend? So his expenses is rupees eight thousand five hundred. Okay. Now, when you subtract this expenses from salary, what will you get? You will get your savings. So this is what you will that will help you in your old days. Okay. Therefore, saving is very very essential. Otherwise. At the end, when you wouldn't have any job, what would you be doing? Okay, so this is very very important. Okay, now what are they asking? They are asking us find the ratio. Find the ratio. Ratio of what? So they are asking you the ratio of salary to expenses. Salary to expenses. Okay. What are they asking you again? They are asking you find the ratio of expenses to salary. Expenses to salary. Okay, this I will also please. Uh, I'll also help you to find it out. They are also asking you saving by salary, saving by salary. So we shall work on each of them. What is the salary? So it's in front of you. It's one twelve thousand, and your expenses is. How much expenses is three thousand, three thousand five hundred, and when you will reduce this, when you will reduce this, what will you get? You will get twenty four, twenty four is to twenty four is to seventeen. See, I'm not lying. You can cancel like this: five seventeen times and five twenty four times. Okay, expenses is how much? Eight thousand five hundred. Good, and what is his his salary? Twelve thousand. We will cancel. You know, only I will cancel. Come on, let's divide by five. So five, how many times? Five, five. Uh, one times five, five seven times thirty five. Seventeen, seventeen. And uh, salary is how much? Is one salary is salary is. One two zero, of course, fine. So this is this is expenses is how much? Eight thousand five hundred, and this is how much? Five two times five four times seventeen is to twenty four. Seventeen is to twenty four. Then again, again they are asking you saving by salary. Saving is how much? Three thousand five hundred. Salary how much? One two zero zero zero. Let's cancel it. Okay, five how many times? 
7 times 5 how many times 24 so what will you get 7 is to 24 simple so from one particular sum similarly you can be asked you can be asked expenses by saving here they have given you salary they can also ask you expenses by saving so you put saving over here okay actually I had skipped that okay now you don't skip come we are moving on to the next one what we have the strength of a class whenever you are talking in number two what you have when you are talking about class it means both boys and girls both boys and girls so when a teacher tells you boys keep quiet the girls are free to talk <laughs> or when they say girls keep quiet the boys are free to talk but when they say you class keep quiet means it's applicable to both of them so the strength of the class is 65 means both boys and girls is equal to 65 including the girls including 30 girls so they have already given you girl number is equal to 30 so what will be the boys number of boys so my dear number of boys will be 65 minus 30 is equal to 35 and then they started the whole drama find the ratio between girl to boys girl to boys girl is how much girl is 30 and your boys the naughty ones how much boys 35 their number is more 5 7 times 5 6 times so you will get 6 is to 7 similarly uh, you can you can do boys is to whole class the whole class to girls you can do it yourself i know come to number three okay the weekly expenses of boys okay good the weekly expenses weekly expenses expenses okay. of boy hmm i think the boy might be in the hostel that is why he might be getting money from his parents has increased from 15000 means means weekly expenses of the boy was rupees was rupees 1500 and then the increased expense he the boy said that no uh, this rupees 15000 is insufficient for me so please uh, daddy send me some more uh, money so the daddy started sending him increased expenses as rupees how much rupees two two five zero well happy now what is increase in expense try to understand the meaning of increased expense in increased expense is the final value is the final value but when you are talking about increase in expense increase in expense means the difference of them so difference is how much 2250 minus 1500 will be equal to how much will be equal to rupees 750 this is the increase in expense this much more now they started uh, giving you all those kind of the same type of problems isn't it find the ratio between original expense okay original expense uh, original expense by increased expense increased expense increased expense so original expense was how much is your 1500 increased expense is how much is 2250 who will solve it you will only solve it Similarly, increased expense, increased expense by increase in expense, increase I N in expense. This in is very important. So, increased expense is equal to how much? Increased expense is your two to five zero, two to five zero. Increase in expense is how much? Is seven hundred and fifty. 750 who will solve this 
you will solve this and you please find out the value okay come on. then we have in number four certain you can say they have given you they have uh, given you uh, you can say to find out the ratio of same kind but their units are different in number four you know what they have given you different units d i double f e r e n t different units so, okay if the units are different i'll make them i'll convert them into the lower unit for example one hour 20 minutes and two hours one hour one hour 20 minutes ratio two hours two hours so we will convert them in the same unit let's convert them in the same unit okay so one hour one hour 20 minute one hour 20 minutes means means what one into 60 minute plus one one hour 20 minutes plus 20 minutes divided by two hours means two into 60 minutes what will you get 60 plus 20 80 minutes you will get shall i solve it over here okay will, will you be able to see 80 minutes 80 minutes by 2 times 60 120 minutes cancel it simple do not wait or don't for to think over it because already you have studied or you already you have done your part played your part for two times and for three times so two is to three give your answer in the ratio form let's take one more for example we have four weeks and 49 days four weeks okay four weeks four weeks is to 49 days now you only tell me how many of you do not know that one week is equal to seven days okay many of you might not be knowing because you people are still staying at home okay you never know when is sunday and when is monday so four week four into four into how much four into four into seven days by 49 days 49 days what will you get seven seven times 49 four is to seven one more i'll do one more five kg 500 gram the you can say the fifth one okay five kg five kg 500 gram gm by 2 kg 750 gram 2 kg 750 gram of course 5 kg means 5000 gram so 5000 plus 500 5000 plus 500 gram by 2 kg 2000 plus 750 gm so what will you get 5500 here 5500 by gm by how much 2750 2750 gram okay who will cancel you will only cancel let me see 5 how many times 110 similarly 5 how many times 5 5 is 25, 5 5 is 25, 11 how many times, 11 1 times, 11 1 times, 11 5 times, 5 how many times, 1 times, 5 2 times, so what should, what would be your answer, 2 is to 1 is your solution, see this can be done beautifully, sometimes you know, you people get panic, why, because there are word problems, you will have to study, Okay, isn't it you will have to go through it and let me tell you my dear that word problems are the easiest of all easiest of all why they are the they are easiest of all because their solution is very small okay come let's come to uh, which one we, uh, which one uh, I'll come to number five okay and as we had we had uh, learned in the online classes that whenever we talk about two quantities for example let us talk about two quantities 4 is to 5 4 is to 5 okay this is a ratio which has been given to you ratio of two numbers ratio of two numbers okay this is just the explanation part explanation 
explanation part p l a n a t i o n okay i have to write for you people see class 6 is very very important class why because you jump from class 5 to and get such a syllabus which is a bit which is in a bit advanced form so ratio of two number is 4 is to 5 now i if you will ask me what is the number i can say the numbers might be 40 and 50 because that will give you 4 is to 5 similarly i can say it can be 400 by 500 also this will also give us this will also give us 4 is to 5 or i can put any number such that both get cancelled and i'll get the ratio as 4 is to 5 but that is not true this means this means that we are not sure about these numbers that is why what we do we 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 put a factor x a factor x and write the numbers as 4x and 5x this means if the ratio of two number is 4 is to 5 the numbers will be 4x and 5x once again if the ratio if ratio of numbers if ratio of numbers is 9 is to 2 9 is to 2 then the numbers will be will be 9x and 2x this is number 5 okay now we have started number 5 from here that the ratio of number is 9 is to 2 let us keep a factor x in both of them so the numbers will be 9x and 2x here you can observe that 2x is the smaller number 9x is the bigger number they have already given you they have given you that smaller number a smaller number is equal to how much let me see is equal to 320 so a smaller number is which one a smaller number is 2x 2x is equal to 320 hmm? 2x is equal to 320 so when 2x is equal to 220 can't you find the value of x x will be equal to 320 divided by 2 which will give you 160 now you found out the value of x once you find the value of x you can find the value of 9x also what does 9x means it means 9 times x what was the value of x 160 so 9 into 160 will give you how much let me multiply and see I'll give you the answer will be 1440 as your as the value of 9x so one number was 1440 and the other number was a smaller number was 320 isn't it moving on to the next one that is number 6 they are talking about speed of the bus ok whenever you find that at the back of the bus if it's written that the speed of the bus is about 70 km per hour 80 km per hour means that the bus will travel 80 km in one hour what are the what have they given us in number 6 that the speed of the bus ok where is my pen ok it is here only that is speed of the oh my god speed of the bus or the bus travels bus travels 180 kilometer in three hours okay hmm. so what will be the speed is the speed will be equal to distance speed will be distance by time distance travel by time taken 180 by 3 kilometer per hour should we cancel it we do not have any option 3 6 times 18 is equal to 60 kilometer per hour well again they say that the train also travels okay of course the train will travel then who will travel 
train travels the train travels 450 km in 5 hours therefore a speed is equal to distance by time 450 km by time taken 5 hours 5 hours or kilometer per hour 5 9 times means 90 km per hour what are they asking they are asking us find the ratio of the speed of train by bus speed of train by speed of bus speed of bus you know in a hurry the child will write 60 by 90 but you should see that they have not asked you the speed of bus by train they have asked you train by bus so train is how much speed of train is equal to 90 km per hour km per hour while this is 60 km per hour so let's cancel it okay 0 0 3 3 times 2 times will give you 3 is to 2 as your final solution see it doesn't have any unit a ratio doesn't have any unit do remember it it doesn't have any unit okay moving on to the next one moving on to the next one I think I am using much sheet don't worry I will reverse the sheet okay in number 7 okay it is winter time and winter time the school opens a little uh, late so the school opens at a uh, school opens at 10 a.m. okay anti meridian while it closes at 3.30 p.m. okay 3.30 p.m. in between this opening and closing of course you people have something to eat isn't it and that is called lunch okay some people or uh, most of the children they don't have lunch they will have only breakfast some will have a single samosa so lunch and lunch is of 30 minutes now they are asking us that what is the ratio of ratio of lunch is to lunch is to total class time lunch time by class total class time total class time okay lunch time you know is of 30 minutes and what about total class time so from 10 a.m. to 3 30 p.m. let me see from 10 to 3 30 11 12 1 2 3 and then 30 means 5 hour 30 minutes 5 hour 30 minute this was your total total time in school but total class time was 30 minute less because this 30 minute was given you for lunch time so total how much time you have you have 30 minute by 5 hour only let us convert them in the same unit so 30 minute by 5 hour 5 hour means 5 into 60 minute shall we cancel we don't have any other option so don't say no 0 0 3 1 times and 3 2 times here we will get 1 is 2 1 is 2 oh my god every time I make the same mistake there also I made the same mistake here also I am making the same mistake 1 is to 10 1 is to 10 is the ratio of your lunch time to your total class time simple okay now come to number come to number uh, 8 8 is also of the same kind I think so number 8 you know I find that 8 is also of the same kind what are they talking about first let me go through it let me see what they are talking about okay uh, I'll do just one more, only one, and then you complete it yourself. Rohit goes to school by car. 
at 60 km per hour and Manoj goes to this same school by scooty, my god, by 40 km per hour. If they both live in the same locality, find the ratio between the time taken by Rohit and Manoj to reach their school. Okay, try to understand this. Rohit goes to school by car. In number 8, Rohit goes to school by car. He uses car. And this travels at about 60 km per hour. 60 km per hour. While Manoj goes to the same school at a speed of 40 km per hour. Manoj goes by scooty which travels at about 40 km per hour. If they both live in the same locality, find the ratio between time taken by Rohit and Manoj to reach the school. So time taken, time taken by Rohit and Manoj. Okay, very good. So time is equal to how much? Time is equal to distance time is equal to distance by speed try to understand this have they given you distance no they have not given us distance so let the distance distance be d let the distance be d only because after all they live in the same locality so the distance of rohit and manoj to school will be same so let the distance be d so what will be the time taken by Rohit? So time taken by Rohit taken by Rohit is equal to how much? By Rohit R O H I T is equal to distance by speed. Distance is how much? Distance I do not know. While speed is equal to 60 km per hour. Very good. Therefore this time will be in hour. Similarly, time taken by Manoj will be how much? D by 40 hour. Distance by speed. What are they asking? They are asking us that find the ratio. Find the ratio of this. Okay, so I am going to find D by 60. D by 60. D by 60 let me use a red pen divided by d by 40 so d by 40 now how do we solve this this will give you d by 60 multiplied by 40 by d 40 by distance this dd will cancel and bhaiya will remain okay so 0 0 will get cancelled 2 2 times 2 3 times and this is equal to 2 is 2, 3. I hope you understood this. If you haven't, go through it again. Simple. Okay. Try to do the remaining. Okay. Try to do the remaining yourself and stay tuned for the next exercise.